the entrance at the pond. This is the blessed Lord who gave himself up for the treasure of the church, for he has heard of the suffering of the Lord and for the glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to the contrary of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, the Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayers. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, giver of that ardor of love for you, by which St. Lawrence was outstandingly faithful in service and glorious in martyrdom, Grant that we may love what you love and put into practice what you thought. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined, without sadness or compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have abundance for every good work. As it is written, he scatters abroad, he goes to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. The one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed and increase the harvest of your righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Blessed be the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed be the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His prosperity shall be mighty upon the earth, the upright generation shall be blessed. Bless the man who is gracious and Well, for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice, he shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Bless the man who is gracious and lends to those who need. An evil report. He shall fear, his fear is firm, trusting in the Lord, his heart is steadfast, he shall not fear. 
Lavishly he gives to the poor, his generosity shall endure forever. His heart shall be exalted in glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of light, says the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Often when we celebrate this time with St. Lawrence Deacon, I have reflected upon his martyrdom. This morning, I was thinking about what led to his martyrdom. That to get to that point, that pinnacle moment, Lawrence had to be found trustworthy in the other moments. He did not become a deacon, minister for the church, without first being a holy man, a trustworthy man, someone who was an inspiration. And he did that because he lived his faith. And therefore he is chosen by the Pope to be one of the deacons of Rome. He is chosen to uh, manage the church's funds. And that is what led him to that moment when the prefect of the city threatens him with tortures and other abuses if he does not hand over the wealth of the church. It is because Lawrence had done the right, the good, the virtuous, the just in the small actions of his life that when he comes to that pinnacle moment, he's able to make the decision, a decision that is going to cost him his life, to show the, the poor and say to the prefect, this is the wealth of the church, not silver and gold, but the people of the church. This is what matters the most. This is what we value. And as I was in my prayer this morning, I thought, if presented the same or a similar opportunity, would I be like Lawrence? If presented the same opportunity, would you make that decision as Lawrence did? I could only answer for myself. And I realized I would most likely, I'd say a good 99.9%, .9 I would fail. And why do I, would I say that? It's because I have failed too often in smaller things. I have turned loose the wealth, what should be valuable the most, my own soul, my own relationship with God. I've turned that loose for much smaller things. No one's there to threaten me with the wealth of St. Bridget's or St. Thomas. The only thing they had to do was put something in front of me that was appealing or pleasing. They had to say that one joke or make that one comment and watch me go off. How many times have we succumbed to so much smaller things, 
so that when that pinnacle moment does arrive and we're asked to make the stand, how can we? For we have been falling constantly and not really giving 100% effort to avoid that near occasion of sin, which we say in the confessional. I think this is a wake up call for all of us, myself most, that if we expect to follow Christ in the pinnacle moment, those serious moments, we will fail unless we do it in the ordinary moments, the daily moments. May Almighty God be with you. May He bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So many together as one family of faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God, pray. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way from our parishes and our families this day. And we pray for those who care for the sick and suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this Mass on video for the needs of you here present in our church today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the priests, the deacons, and the people of St. Joseph in Maysville, Alabama at this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, we ask Mary's intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Bless us now and all and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, and now and at the hour of our death. We have received the bread we offer you. For the earth that work with human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the body and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Yes, Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, the offerings we joyfully make on this, the feast day of St. Lawrence, and grant that we that they become a help to our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints have praised the very sufferings or the wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give order to their faith, to their endurance, you grant firm resolve, and in the struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all those, the angels proud, and without them, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of glory, both time and highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, who is that of the highest. Lord, be holy, Lord, the boss of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts be served. Let me down in the spirit of God, and like to be called that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread on him and thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, 
For this is my body, which will be given up for you. And they took him away when supper was ended and took the child. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, I am drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking up the body and blood of Christ, you may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, our God, 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 so we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who saved you, your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you gave away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you gave away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you gave away the sins of the world, and have us a peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the old hymn who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I have not heard what you should do, but on this day of the word, and my soul shall be follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be, says the Lord.
Let us pray. Nourished by these sacred gifts, we humbly implore you, Lord, that the homage of dutiful service which we render on the feast day of St. Lawrence may bring us an increase of your saving grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you, your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass ascended, go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to Saint Michael. Holy, Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May, May God rebuke him when we humbly pray. And in you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine powers, for us in the hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praise protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed, Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, your God, and your name. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the great Mother of God, and your most holy. Blessed be your holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be your Lord's assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin, and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, the most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, and his angels, and his saints.